Am I live? Okay, I am. Well, I got creative. I, looks like I'm a little bit early. Is anybody here yet? I'll wait. It's not quite three o'clock. Okay. I was thinking something. What the hell was I thinking? I can't remember now. I do have brain frog. frog. Yeah, brain frog. That's right. Brain frog. What is brain frog? Anybody there? We got anybody here? Nobody? I'm all by myself. So, uh, as you can see, I tried to cut my own hair. <laughs> this side looks better. I think. Yeah, I shouldn't have used the weed eater. But it had to be done. I got an online job interview, which uh, I've never done that before. That should be interesting. But we'll see how that goes. I'm ready to. I'm ready to get past COVID. I am 100% protected against dying from it. I could still get it, but it, but uh, supposedly I'm 100% protected against dying or hospitalization. So I can, you know, I can live with being sick for a day or two. You know, I mean, if I should actually get it, but even that, I've got it like I'm 85 times less likely to even get it than I was before I got vaccinated. So, so that's pretty damn good, I'd say. Hey, John. <laughs> Ten years younger. Yeah. Oh, I feel lighter. <sighs> yeah. Okay, I decided I'm going to paint this background. Okay, this isn't going to work. I'm going to do it anyway, but why is it going to work? Because because the color it's just, it's the same color. So you know it's hard to make the background the same color. But I can go back over it. Or I could leave it. Who knows? I kind of think I should try to change it a little bit. Get past these uh, 
I'm going to get back on some big canvas. You know? That's what I think I'm going to have to do. get back onto some big canvas. That's going to go there. And first of all, I've got to change some things over here. That's, that looks pretty cool. That's all right. It'll work out. Just glue it down. So I did want it like that. Okay. So like that. Oops. Let's see if that will lose. That works. Blue. Are any of these brushes clean? Probably not. You should clean your brushes at least once a week. <laughs> I don't even think I've done that, honestly. Oh, that's wrong. I'm like the laziest artist.
Right row. I had a I had a piece I cut out in a particular shape and now it's missing in action. Huh. And I really liked it too. Dang it. Did it fall on the floor? Oh. See, and here's the thing. It's like I know it'll, it'll show up later after I've already glued something else down. Oh, here it is. All right. I think I like it. I like it. I like it. I do wish I want to get this brush cleaner. It's got so much paint in it. It's supposed to just have glue in it. What do I need now? Need like hmm. Do I want yellow? Maybe. Maybe this will work. Hmm. I need smaller fingers. Just joking, universe. Don't give me smaller fingers. All right. Let's see if I can get this in here. God, I can't even. Okay. Right there. Can you even see that? I might have to change that up. I probably will have to. I hope you can tell that's a that's a frog. <laughs> Who else is here? Somebody else is here. Nobody will check in. Just you, John. Yeah, yeah, I need to get back on the wall. That's what I need to do. You know. Uh, yeah. You know, I just enjoy painting bigger. So much. This may work out. I don't know. To start. 
a boy and his bird. something completely different.
a little eyebrow there. Okay. Yeah. Some of this blue paint. Just a bit over there. Let's put it right on the, the canvas. This paint's old, and so it's, it's it's become kind of rubbery, which is cool. I mean, you know, because you, you can't really buy a rubbery paint. I mean, you, if you can, I don't know where. You know, that's the thing about misusing your materials is they will, you know, they'll they'll change, and uh, in unpredictable way. I mean, maybe predictable, but unpredictable to me. I mean, maybe if I worked in a paint factory, I might know exactly what would happen, but I don't. So, but the point is unpredictable ways. So then you end up with characteristics in those materials that you couldn't have anticipated necessarily. I mean, maybe with years of experience, you could, you know, because like now I would know, yeah, leave, leave, leave this Liquitex heavy body in the tube for this is probably seven or eight years old you know but i've been using it but i just haven't used it up <laughs> yeah you do get a lot of mileage out of these a lot of these paints that are more expensive you can get a lot of you can get more mileage out of them so in the long run maybe they don't cost more than these little you know craft paints but who knows i mean somebody knows but i don't know Somebody smarter than me knows. I don't even know what these, I think, I don't remember how much this was. Probably $10 or something. But, you know, like I said, I've had it for, I don't know, eight years or some shit. I mean, a long time, I know that. But a little bit goes a long way, so. I really shouldn't do this because this is wet, you know, but that's life. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? Wait for it to dry? Ha! Ha! Uh, there's, there's that guy. He needs some more work, but it's a start. It's just not a finish. A start, but not a finish. I kind of feel like there. Okay. Yeah, I like that. Maybe. Well, these thick paints are fun to move around with your fingers. This takes me back to the first painting I ever did. When my friend Joe, he lived next door. We grew up, he was like two months older than me, so it worked out pretty good. You know, it's like, we just moved into this new neighborhood. And, I mean, I don't remember exactly because I was six months old. But but anyway, we lived there for seven or eight years. Seven years. And then when we moved, we only moved like a mile away. So we were still, you know, good friends. But we just didn't, you know, we weren't next door friends no more. But but um, I came home from the hospital. I was, I was five years old. I had an operation. I came home from the hospital. And he brought me over a, a set of finger paints. <laughs> so that reminded me of that. But uh, I proceeded to make, you know, a huge mess. And uh, the next day when I went to look for my finger paints, my mom was like, oh, I didn't know you wanted those. I don't remember what excuse she made, but she had gotten rid of them because they were just too messy for her, you know. So. 
Yeah.